Hi there, I'm Edwin Palmer. Welcome to my series on LGBTQ plus related topics. How do gay people meet other gay people? That's the question I'm asking in this video. So here I'm giving you 8 ways to meet other gay people. 1. Go to gay bars, gay clubs, and gay saunas. These places are accepting of everyone. I love them because you can truly be yourself there. Since they are full of gay people, you'll have plenty of fish in the pond to choose from. My hub and I met in a gay sauna. There, it's official. 2. Use dating apps and websites. You may be thinking that using apps and websites seems silly. But many gay men have met the guy of their dreams by using these types of platforms. Popular ones include OkCupid okay and Gay. And while Grindr, Scruff, and other apps are great tools for meeting people, keep in mind that some of these platforms are more sexually charged than others. There's nothing wrong with this, but if your goal is to date, using the right app is important. Last but not least, dating sites can be dangerous places. A while back, I shot a video on how to stay safe on them. I've left the link to that video below this video. 3. Search Facebook. There are tons of gay people on this social media platform, we're talking millions. There are a number of fan pages and groups on Facebook that are specifically designed for gay men who are single and relationship ready. Type gay single dating into Facebook search box and see what comes up. Remember, the people who are putting themselves out there are doing so with the same motivations that you are to connect with someone for romance. You can also search Facebook for people on your friends list who are single. Just punch in single friends or my single friends in the search box and see what comes up. 4. Attend LGBTQ plus events and fundraisers. As a population, we gays are giving. Plus, many of us like to get all dolled up and go to events like fundraisers for different causes we support. Some examples include cancer-related events, HIV-AIDS-related causes, civil rights scholars, and the list goes on. Several gay men have reported that they met the guy of their dreams by offering to be a table captain for a given event. In this capacity, you help to fill the table by soliciting people for donations. As captain, you have control over who's seated at your table, which is a huge advantage for you. Plus, you get a network with others who may be single and thereby expand your circle of available men. Of course, you should go to the fundraiser with the mindset of supporting the cause you care about, but you can always be open to meeting someone new. Attitude is everything. 5. Take local community classes. Do you like photography? What about painting? Fitness? Biking? Aviation? Cooking? Horticulture? And so forth. One of the great things about taking a class is the built-in advantage of a shared interest. You can find classes by doing a Google search using your hometown or county in the search terms and seeing what pops up. Throwing the word gay as part of your search and refine your choices even more. Choose a community class you're genuinely interested in and not just one where you think all the hot men will be. Remember, it's only a shared interest if it's genuine. 6. Volunteer for LGBTQ plus organizations. This suggestion is a twofer when you think about it. First, you get the benefit of giving the gift of yourself to a cause you care about. Second, you will meet new people. If your passion is supporting your local LGBTQ plus community center, why not call them to see how they can use your gifts? 7. Join a professional organization. Yep, you read that right. A professional organization to which you may already belong likely has a chapter dedicated for LGBTQ plus members. The point here is that whatever you do for employment, there is likely a professional organization with a gay-focused subdivision. Almost all of them hold events, including socials, mixers, and fundraisers. If you belong to one of these associations, great, your work is half done. If not, why not look for one that fits your particular profession? 
8. Join a local gay-friendly church or spiritual center. Some may recoil at this suggestion, but guess what? There are a lot of gay men who are deeply spiritual. If you have a local place of worship or other community-based venue for spirituality and you identify with what is offered, why not give it a try? If you're one of those people who aren't sure what you believe in, consider taking the belief omatic self-assessment. It's free and you'll likely learn something about yourself that perhaps you didn't know before. Obviously, going to a local gay-friendly church or spiritual center should be about your spiritual nourishment and well-being. Think about this first before you decide which venue for spirituality is best for you. However, this doesn't mean you can't also meet new people, enjoy meaningful connections, and perhaps bump into your new boyfriend. All this useful info came from this website. I've left this link below this video. If you want YouTube to notify you that I've uploaded a new video in the series, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to watch this series from the start, you can do that by clicking on that link as soon as it appears on the screen. I'll be back next Friday with a new book review. Till then, I only want to say three things. Thank you for watching, have a great day, and bye for now.